Going all the way back to 2010, if you watch the WWE show, Aaron Douglas was on that card. That's insane yeah. to think about. I don't think we'll ever, ever see an Iron Man speak with that show like that ever again. And, and Dave, you've been in the room with Aaron Douglas uh, multiple times. Uh, what's the Just being a step ahead. What it is. What a belly to Oh, oh, oh. Another one! Whoa! What a rough landing. Armani, definitely uh, bringing some people too much in here. Oh, God! Third belly to belly. Oh, God. And a fourth one! What a rough landing. For Johnny Price for both of them. Cover. Wow. That was just... Just fell he just slid to the outside. That was crazy. Four belly to belly, all in a row. Armani is definitely taking this to new heights here. Armani defeated Eric Pierce last show in the hybrid X Supreme Invitational. He's going to the second round. He's actually going to meet Johnny Rice one on one next show. Unbelievable, yeah, absolutely. I remember 2011, the guy was very green. Oh, maybe throw on the outside there. There's just so much action going on right here, it's really hard to keep up with. But yeah, you're definitely making a great point, Dave. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny got killed in the wrist right there. He's having a hard time breathing right now. I see a lot of parody between Johnny Price in 2016 and, and Aaron, or Ace Armani in 2012 because they used the hybrid title to get on the map. Yeah, yeah. And there was a lot of big matches. We, we still had Aaron Drake and Humberto, Big C, you and myself on the roster. And Armani used his hybrid championship to get on the map and get established. And that's what Johnny Price is doing here in 2016. Been hybrid champion since October. Squaring up against the free champion, Aaron Douglas, right now. Defeated yeah. CJ Price with that belt. Johnny has been a punch bag this match. He's had a, a rough, rough end of things right here. And it's a testament to uh, what he's done so far. I've been hanging in there with these guys. These guys have been around a long time. He's got Eric Douglas is the only two-time wrestler. Ace Armani's actually won that award too. Twenty four. You're a winner of that award. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mafia kick right to the side. And no cover. Just a two count there. <laughs> Maybe go for a suplex here. I think so. God, the elevation on that one. There's a lot out of Johnny to do that, though. Cover, cover, cover. Oh, gee. Oh, what a rough landing. Johnny never even saw that one coming. Tough, tough to break up a pin right there. Might have bumped heads there. Everyone's got to be careful of that. We've seen a lot of people that use flying head flies. Aaron is one of those guys that are out. Yeah. This is a great opportunity, opportunity for him. Not just to win. The thing is that's cool about all these guys right now is like we're in two championship pictures because Johnny, Johnny's hybrid champion. Actually, Johnny's a three. He's still in the Supreme of the And if you win this one, it'll be number one contender for the heavyweight belt. You've obviously never seen anyone in WWE hold three champions. A couple of double champions yes. through the years, but uh, three never. Aaron Douglas, speaking of which, he was a hybrid and supreme champ back in 2011. He did a, a hybrid title and um, one of the best supreme champions of all time, five times. Uh, my That's the record for these guys. I, I don't. Uh, no one else has held it double more than three. I believe Bouncer has. It. Oh, oh, rough landing right there. These guys are laying it all on the line right here for our chance at. Yeah. Right for the this, this is what this is what competition is. Right here. The good thing about them is uh, this one. 
for these guys, usually the, high, the sport dependent ship goes after, there's no title match book, but Taylor and, and Otis signed, sealed, delivers. Oh, the winner of that one, guys that one, both odds for sure. What a competitive matchup right here.